right, so I've got a half inch, four inch by four inch piece of bar stock in here. And we're going to be machining our servo motor mounts. Now these mounts are a little bit different than the uh, motor mounts we used originally. These are not NEMA 34. These are actually uh, metric and they're going to require an 80 millimeter uh, recess. So we're going to be doing some uh, several different operations. We're going to be doing some facing, some adaptive uh, clearing for the center bore there, uh, some contouring to finish that up, and uh, some thread milling plus we're going to be boring or excuse me, some boring plus some thread milling for our mounting holes. Alright, so let's get started.
Well, that is the top side. We're going to now flip it over and we're going to uh, machine a shoulder all around it to accept our square tubing. All right. So I'm finishing up here the servo mounting plates. These are for DMM servos. Uh, they're a little bit different than the NEMA 34 stepper motors. Uh, this center counterbore here is um, 80 millimeters instead of 73, I believe, for the NEMA 34s. Also, the bolt hole patterns are a little bit different. So I'm just finishing these up, and I just thread milled and bored and thread milled for the mount mounting holes that's going to mount onto the spacer so that wraps up these we can move on to uh, machining our spacer all right guys well it took a good bit of machining but I was able to machine my z-axis ball bearing mount my spacer my servo motor mount got them all machined they turned out really nice uh, so we're going to go with the linear rail conversion. We're going to be using our DMM servos. Uh, these are the 86M DHT model. They're 750 watt, uh, one horsepower, and they are the metric frame size. So they're 80 millimeters. This recess needs to be 80 millimeters. So I had to go ahead and machine new uh, mounts because the original was NEMA 34. This DMM servo is quite a bit uh, bigger than the clear path that I'm currently running on my original Precision Matthews. Now I'm getting a lot of questions about um, which is do I prefer. Well, I haven't ran these yet, so it's hard to really say. I will say that the clear path seem to be working uh, fine. They're really convenient if you're moving upgrading from uh, stepper motors to servo motors it's really easy to just upgrade with the clear path as I did because you already have your control cabinet set up for a DC power supply now I did upgrade my power supply with the clear path I didn't really have to change anything else I just swapped it out with a bigger power supply and then connected up the clear path so it's a lot easier uh, these drives for these servos are uh, AC which allows us to get the higher RPMs but these are a lot heavier than the clear path and they're a lot they're a lot taller and the shaft size is bigger this is 14 millimeter versus a half inch for the clear path but they're going to sit on there like so another thing too is the hole in the center is a lot bigger on this stepper mount versus my or servo mount versus my old stepper mount you can see 
and that is to allow for this diaphragm double diaphragm type coupling you want to be able to just slide the motor in there and tighten it up I wanted to make that bigger originally I used the plumb couplings there was a lot of little changes which prompted me just to go ahead and machine another mount hey guys thanks for watching if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in click on the subscribe button down here in the bottom right hand corner that way when I post a new video, if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.